Hi guys, today we're going to be grilling this lovely ribeye bone-in steak that I got from Aldenton Fresh Foods, a local butcher's to me. They're great. We're going to bathe it in whiskey. We're going to give it 48 hours in the fridge. I mean, look at the marbling on this. I cannot stress how important that is. Look at the thickness of it too. Oh man, this is going to be awesome. What a beast. It's got to be over two inches thick. So what we're going to do is we're going to give it a good whiskey shower, let it soak in. Then we're going to dry brine it, better known as osmosis reaction. So that literally will draw out the moisture in the steak. It will liquefy those granules and draw everything back in including the whiskey so it's going to taste awesome 48 hours in the fridge after giving it a good shower of whiskey i mean you can see look at the color the color has changed now it's got a bit lighter so what we're going to do is grill it hot and fast over the coals directly till it gets to 50 degrees celsius 122 degrees fahrenheit then we'll take it off of the coals let it sit off the coals till it gets to about 70 degrees celsius 158 fahrenheit we're going to get that nice maillard reaction going get it as brown as possible as i say to 50 degrees celsius you can see after coming out the fridge the redness is back it's drawn all its colour back. I mean, look at that. I cannot wait to see the end result of this. Let's go. Okay guys, so here we have it, the 48 hour wet aged Jack Daniels steak. Perfectly cooked. As I say, I took it to 50 degrees Celsius, then let it get to 70 degrees Celsius, offset of the coals. That is melting your mouth. Yeah, this is good. You can definitely taste the Jack Daniels in there, well, whiskey. You couldn't pinpoint it to be Jack Daniels, but that's good. That is really nice. Genuinely melting your mouth. Spot on. What can I say? It's definitely a success in my book. I've seen Guga and other people do this, and they say it's not great. But uh, personally, not being biased, but I do like it. As I say, you can taste the whiskey there. Obviously, it's not strong. It's not like you could uh, get drunk off it, but um, it's definitely there. 
And as I say, you can you wouldn't be able to pinpoint this to Jack Daniels as such or any particular whiskey. It's just got a whiskey flavour to it. Yeah, I'd definitely do this again. Guys, if you like the video, please remember to like and subscribe if you haven't already. So with that being said, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Catch you later.